The documentary Radical Grace is a revealing behind the scenes look at a group of American nuns who challenged the Vatican's viewpoint and subsequent investigation of the nuns for their social justice and health advocacy in the U.S. Joining me with the film's highlights and the nuns movement are my guest Helen Hellix with the nonprofit group the innerrevolution.org and Sister Judith Sheridan of the Marist Missionary Sisters in San Diego. And Helen, uh, this film just airs one time, Wednesday night here in San Diego. Why bring it to San Diego? Well, originally we interviewed one of the nuns that's featured in the film on our radio show, Interrevolutionary Radio with Beth Green, and we just fell in love with her and wanted to do something to support the film. And this was the option that they offered us, was to do a screening of our own here in San Diego. And so we just jumped on the chance because we loved her, we loved the message of the film. All right, now Bishop uh, Paparaki was the Vatican's delegate uh, for the investigation. And uh, here's what he said about that in the film. The sisters say that religious life is changing and evolving, but I, I think the question then is what are the limits of that? How far can they push that? The question is, are you still religious? <laughs> you know, are you still nuns? Uh, are you still Christian? So he's asking, are you still religious? Are you still nuns? Are you still Christian? Uh, pretty steep questions. Mm. What kind of consequences and risk did the nuns face uh, during the Vatican's investigation? Well, as I hear that, I'm, you know, kind of, uh, shocked in a way because I think to myself, well, what makes a sister, you know, and what makes a Christian, you know, it's like doing good works. And that's what this film is really pointing to. Uh, reaching out to people at the margins, trying to stand up for the voiceless. Um, it's something I've done in my lifetime as a missionary. And um, I, I just think that the apostolic a visitation was um, questioning the role of the sisters, questioning the idea of the sisters, while we, the sisters, average age 75, uh, were kind of thinking we had done a pretty good job for, in, for the church, for the mission, for the Lord, and made us wonder, well, uh, why? Why is this going on? And it was good for us because it made us stop and get together and talk and redefine and reaffirm ourselves. And in the end, it was reaffirmed when the investigation was listed. Uh, I wanna ask you this though, um, Helen, have San Diego bishops uh, reacted to the screening of this film here? You know, I was talking to Sister Judith about this on the way up here, that unfortunately, in our outreach efforts, you know, maybe we've reached the wrong people, but we haven't been able to garnish, garner any support from the Catholic community for this, except for Sister Judith, <laughs> our sole supporter. Well, and if we'd had more time, I'm sure we could have reached some other people, but a lot of people said we don't want to touch it. Hmm, well, there's still time because the, the, the film's airing here in San Diego on Wednesday night. Judith, uh, Sister Judith, um, women in, in Catholic uh, organizations and in Catholic orders have changed their appearance. Uh, they've changed, they've expanded their roles, going outside of hospitals and teachings and things like that. Why do you think that is? Well, of course, you're talking over a long period of time. And the church did have a major uh, renewal time called the Vatican II. Um, and they, in that time, we were asked as religious to look deeply into our roots and our foundation and our, our spirit and to see what is it really we're called to. And religious women did that very seriously. And they found that all their founders, all their foundresses were re responding to the great needs of the times. And so a lot of the religious orders looked at what they're doing and said, you know, we have, uh, we're in institutions, but we're not actually out in the grassroots. People felt called to go out and be with the people. Now as a missionary sister, in a way we, overseas, we always did that. So we didn't have quite the impact in our order. But I can understand then where it became uh, the bishops lost their workforce, really, for the, the schools and the institutions, and it became uh, a problem. 
I see, and we're gonna have to end on this and I'll end on this, uh, Helen. So a lot of support, the nuns on the bus campaign, we remember a lot of people out there. Why mm -hmm. do you think there's support for uh, the nuns and this film? Well, I think that it touches something in our hearts. It touches that radical in all of us that really wants to stand up and fight for something we believe in. All right, well, thank you so much, uh, Sister Judith Sheridan and Helen Hellix. Thank you. I want to let folks know that Radical Grace airs one night only. That's Wednesday night at 7 at the Unity Center of San Diego. More information at kpbs.org.